What's up you guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a brand new video and basically uh, this is like a little beginning because this is going to be a Sony Vegas video first of all but I wanted to say I'm not, I'm not going to keep uploading things on, on Friday because I don't have like a series yet for Friday so that's what I'm going to keep like uploading like Sony Vegas tutorials in the first place until I have like a nice series but the bad thing is I wanted to show you guys something so basically as you guys can see at the title it's going to be a throwback because today was fucking terrible okay so I had finished recording Sony Vegas I pressed the window key and the L key for, to lock my computer then I would say an hour later I come back to my computer and the fucking files are gone so this is not to be lazy like oh you're just gonna re-upload a previous video no I'll show you guys what the fuck happens so as you guys can see this is all the folder that I keep all my files in it says videos van the week it is uh, videos of the week it is just Dutch and as you guys can see those are all my videos uh, and the folders uh, that I always use come on focus there we go so as you guys can see all the videos are live like how can I say this uh, Sony Vig, how to edit videos like Luffy, everything is online. But then I created a new video, a new folder, which is called how to edit videos like Quabble Cop. And as you guys can see, the folder is not anywhere here. So the bad thing is, I just came back on my computer and the fucking folders were all empty. All the folders are empty. This one, how to edit videos like like Quabble Cop. Fucking, this map is leg. That that folder is empty. The most terrifying deep web video. No thumbnail. No video. No Vegas project. Nothing. All the files are fucking empty. Even like comedy, all my uh, like funny videos, projects, everything is fucking gone. As you can see, all empty folders. So I thought, okay, what the fuck just happened? So I decided let's just upload the very first. Come on, focus. And I decided why should I not upload the very, very, very first Sony Vegas tutorial back from 2013? So. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this little throwback. This was the first, the very first Sony Vegas tutorial, how, like, how it all started. Very crappy, Vegas 12 even, so, Sony Vegas Pro 12. You even saw the taskbar underneath it. It was so crappy, the, the microphone was terrible. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to smash the like button down below. I'll try to fix it, I lost all my fucking files. I love you guys so much, I'm trying to get everything back. I just wanna keep on posting amazing videos for you guys because that's why, that's why you guys are all subscribed. Almost uh, all 57,000 people are subscribed for awesome videos. So I'm gonna try to get the footage back anyways. So uh, enjoy this little video, this, this throwback video of the very first Vegas video ever on my channel. Uh, almost three years old, so this is the throwback video. This is how to create a thumbnail, a very crappy thumbnail. So enjoy the video. Thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video already, and enjoy. What's up everybody, it's Alex Halfgrid here, and today I'm gonna show you how I or how to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Um, Alright, so let's get started. Um, I already made a um, starburst in Photoshop, so we're gonna drag that in here. So we have this, I'm gonna do, uh, I wanna remove those black bars. We're gonna go to maintain aspect radio. Alright, so basically I wanna have um, a picture of me right here and um, the text right here and uh, yeah well, you will see how when we go along so right now i'm gonna load in my picture in sony vegas so i have this picture dragged it in oh and, uh, and, and uh, to make sure you um, do everything correctly you want to make a separate video track for every piece you're using into your timeline so right now we're gonna just gonna i don't wanna all that woods and all the stuff i just want to remove that so we're gonna go to um, event pan crop and we're gonna go um, at the bottom it says mask so we're gonna click that now we're just gonna enable your anchor recreation tool I'm gonna just gonna start masking myself out um, so I can remove the background so let me fix this real quick So we can get along because this is actually really boring work, but we have to do it. Otherwise, it won't work. So, run my hair a bit. All right. So now I almost cut myself out. All right. So there we go. So there the um, the, the background room um, um, dis uh, disappears. So now we're gonna click the X button and we're gonna click this little button. And this allows us to uh, drag me around and stuff. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit taller. And I'm gonna drag it all the way to the left. Like that. So I'm gonna make it a little bit taller. Right, I'm pretty happy with it. 
Alright, so now we're gonna go create a new video track and now we're gonna load in um, our text. So now we're gonna go to media generators and we're gonna click on titles and text, just drag that down in the timeline. And now we're gonna um, type in our texts, how to make a thumbnail. Just gonna um, look for a sweet font. I like this thin design font. All right, so now we're gonna make that a little bit smaller so it fits right here near. A little bit bigger. All right, so now we're gonna go and add some um, effects to the text. So now we're gonna go to outline and we're gonna get, um, we're gonna just um, select the color of our outline, which is of course black in this case. And then we're gonna go to um, this little marker and just drag it to the right as far as you want to. So, uh, not too big, all right. Pretty happy with that. And now we're gonna add some shadow as well. Just um, click the check mark and then just move this shadow till you're till you're happy with it. All right, it's pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna um, create a new video track. Not again. Or we can just copy this, it doesn't matter. The control C and then control V. And then we're gonna change the text to in. Because I'm creating a thumbnail in Sony Vegas. Alright, so now we have the in right here. Um, maybe it needs a little shadow as well. Let me check real quick. Shadow, yeah, it's already enabled. So now we're gonna um drag it a little bit to the to there i'm gonna make it a bit taller all right i want to make a thumbnail in all right i'm pretty happy with it and then we're gonna um load in the um the the logo of sony vegas pro 12. so right now i already searched for a logo that has a transparent background and then we're just gonna drag it in in a new video track and as you can see, the logo appears right there, but it's way too big, so I'm gonna resize it a bit. So now we're gonna click this again. And now we're just gonna go to the corner and just um, adjust it until it's about right. Position it a bit, a little bit too big. That's it. All right, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, all right, that's it, guys. My thumbnail is now ready. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna click render as, and then just image sequence, and then we're gonna click JPEG or PNG or whatever you wanna, whatever type you wanna, uh, whatever type of image you wanna have. I just normally just click X, uh, GP, JPEG, and then I just click render. So um, yeah, guys, that's it. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, subscribe. This help if this helped you and stuff, and maybe you can leave a comment in what kind of software you make your thumbnails. Or um, if you like this video, please uh, thumbs up and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Just Alex Halford.